there's two of them. So these are two of our females. One on the left, it, the coat almost looks like a husky. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much fur they have. Whenever we do vet procedures on them and stuff, like we'll do tick checks and they're like pulling through the hair. And usually the ticks, nations, and things like that, we have to like, like seriously part the hair as much as possible. It's, it's so sick. It's amazing. But you got to think about it. They like to live, like I've seen them up in that right here. Um, I've seen them hiking. You know, four months or so. He dropped his in December. See the antlers right there? Oh, oh, look look the the of the oh my but goodness. You also look like this one 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 right here, you can see how his antlers are oh growing, so he's shutting his velvet like... right now. Oh, you're fine, man. Goodness gracious. Isn't that wow. Amazing? See that one over there? The color is so nice. That brown. Look at all of them. Just. So it's really honestly wow. cool. It's really gory and kind of spooky looking when they shut that velvet off. Uh, because it does bleed. This one's this side, side in there. It it's it's really really cool. thing on the head. Wow, look at all these. Is that side in? Wow, it's so cool. So, like I said, so now breeding season is going to start in September. So, the breeding season is September into October. Mm -hmm. um, once breeding season starts, these guys aren't going to be hanging out like this anymore. They're actually going to be fighting each other. So um, they're going to be fighting their best friends in order to impress those females. So they, those antlers are kind of specially designed to lock and then unlock. So it's not necessarily a fight to the death, uh, but it's a fight to show who's more dominant. Um, they also will do a bugling noise, mm -hmm. uh, which is like one of my favorite vocalizations. If you've never heard it, you should absolutely look at it. Um, they also like to urinate on themselves a lot. Um, they like to use scent marks. They have these really cool scent glands in the corner of their eyes. And they'll rub those on trees and things like that. They're also going to rub those big antlers on trees. And so you'll see some rub marks on some of our trees out here. Uh, they like to try to make themselves look a little bit different. And so they do a thrashing behavior where they're going to take those big antlers. They're going to stick them in some tall grass, thrash their heads back and forth. And then they pop up. They got a bunch of vegetation on their antlers. So it's like, check it out, ladies. I got this cool hat going on. <laughs> uh, so just any way they, they can look a little bit different wow. and come off as more dominant and more top. Wow, look at them. Cheeky fellas. Terrorize the dude. Sometimes they will follow them. They're just terrorizing and running them off. This is my spot. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> Mama and baby. Yeah. Baby's like, I'm going to run. run. And he has spots. Get the baby. A dingo ate my baby. Mama going to hide. She had any honey bushes. Eagles and owls. Mm. Yeah, the eagles and owls. Uh, we got our bees. We have much, much more to go check out today. Marie, is such a beautiful day. Mm-hmm. That storm cooled things off. Oh, yeah. 